Hello, everybody. Coach Carly here. I'm coming to you live from the beach. You might be able to hear it. Excuse the wind. This is my view right now. Which is pretty amazing, as I think you would agree. Um, so sorry about the wind factor, but it's generally always windy down here at the beach. Um, I'm not complaining because of the view and the sunshine, which I've been hanging out for all winter. I know a lot of other people have in Perth too. But this video, I just wanted to do a quick video really on, um, are you feeling a resistance mode? And by that I mean, are you feeling stuck? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling resentful? Are you feeling any kind of negative emotions really um, that are kind of keeping you feeling like you're in stuck mode and feeling like you're having trouble moving forward? I'm definitely there right now. Not necessarily there 24-7, but I've been noticing more and more recently that I'm in that kind of resistance, yucky mode and having to do more stuff to get myself out of it. And what I realized for me is that it's really an upper limit problem, which I'll do and I'll talk about in another video. But I have noticed um, that quite a lot of people are feeling in resistant mode. A lot of my Reiki students are, a lot of my friends are, um, a lot of my coaching clients are. And I seem to be having more and more conversations in the last couple of weeks about people feeling stuck and they don't think they can get themselves out of it, which is just the BS story that you tell yourself. So I've actually created a little um, group for myself uh, with a couple of my Reiki students for this week. Uh, we've called it the Raise Your Vibe Tribe, where we're going to be focusing solely on getting unstuck and getting out of our own way, because that's really what resistance is. It's just you getting in your own way of recognizing your true greatness. Um, so there's a number of different ways that you can do that for me personally and with my Reiki students this week. What we're doing is some EFT, so that's emotional freedom technique, tapping. Um, we're also doing some decluttering, so physical decluttering. I'm doing like a cleanse for my body as well and um, doing some forgiveness work, which is always amazing for emotional decluttering. Uh, and coming to the ocean is also a massive thing for me. So dipping your feet in the ocean, salt water is an amazing transmuter of negative energy. So I just kind of dip my feet in or more if you can. Uh, go for a swim if you can, uh, if it's not too cold right now. Um, and I just kind of let the waves wash over my feet and as, they, as, as the waves wash over me and away from me, then I just imagine it pulling away all the crappy, stuck, yucky, negative energy out of my body, which feels amazing. Meditation is another way that I raise my vibration and just spending time doing really fun things. So just spend as much time doing fun stuff as you can. So if you're, um, if you're like me, a business owner, you might feel um, that, or even if you've just got loads of chores to do around the house, then you might feel like there's loads of other things that you should be doing that you should be focusing your time on. But what you'll find is that if you try and do those things from a place of resistance, you'll feel like you're multitasking, maybe doing a gazillion things at once, and you're not really getting any of them finished because you're stuck in procrastination mode. Um, and that's kind of the feeling of resistance is that it's going against the flow, it's swimming upstream. When you're in the flow, you just, you want to do all those things from a place of joy and fun and even the chores don't feel like chores as much when you're feeling in the flow. So when you're feeling in resistance, the whole point of it is that you just spend your time focusing on getting out of the 